Why would anyone want to shoot on a Hi8 camera in 2023? Today, I'm gonna to walk you through on this tapeless build that I did to my Hi8 camera so it can actually record off of SD card and use no tapes. Probably wondering, what is the point of filming on such an old camera and getting it to work in such a modern day and age where you can get 4K cameras for under $100? Well, it really comes down to the aesthetic and the look. I think Hi8 and VHS are still gonna be around for a while because people love the look of the low quality, nostalgic feel that this camera brings. I don't think that can fully be recreated in post. And it's also nice just having a designated camera. You can totally pass this off to a B camera shooter so they can be shooting B-roll on the side while you're filming on the main camera. I think that purpose alone is really nice so you can just film separate B-roll and not have to worry about it. I've used VHS and Hi8 cameras on a lot of music videos that I've shot in the past. Here's some of the clips that I've shot on VHS over the years. I've had a lot of fun shooting on VHS and I feel like it adds a really cool aesthetic to the music videos. I even helped director David Camarena a few years ago shoot on this Hi8 camera for a Taiga music video he did. Something about it is really nostalgic and it's way better than just slapping on that red giant filter. You can totally tell when anyone slaps on that red giant VHS filter. You can just tell it's not authentic. It doesn't look right. It works in a pinch, yes, but if you can shoot on an actual Hi8 or analog camera, that's the best way to do it. Now the problem with shooting on these cameras, it's hard to get tapes and they're expensive. I used to shoot on the same tape and then I would just rewind and re-record over it. But the problem with that is you could eventually break the tape and you'll lose your footage. So the solution to that is to do a tapeless build like what I have right here. So what I have on top of this camera is actually the clear click video. And what this does, it allows you to take any analog input. So what I have all these cables going in here, and then you plug in an SD card or a USB into this and it will actually re-record the footage onto an SD card for you. The great thing about this is there's no need for a tape in your camera. It just takes your video feed from your Hi8, VHS, or any analog camera, and it re-records it straight onto this. I love this because, especially when you're re-recording a tape, you just get one long video clip and you have to cut it up yourself. With the clear click, you're recording straight to digitally, so you're gonna have separate files recorded onto the SD card. So you just simply pull out the SD card, plug it into your computer, and transfer all the separate files. Another useful feature is you can individually watch each clip's playback. Whereas if you wanted to watch playback on your Hi8 or VHS, you would have to rewind the tape and you would have the possibility of accidentally re-recording over your footage and losing it for good. Previous to this, I would use a capture card to plug in via USB into my computer. You'd plug in the analog cables and you'd re-record everything. Not to mention that you have to play back the entire footage to re-record it. So you're gonna have to let that play for a while. That works, but if your tape breaks, you're screwed. This thing has two inputs as well. It has S-Video, which I tried out, which is a little bit cleaner. It also has the regular white, red, and yellow, so you actually get audio when you use that versus the S-Cable. Here's a quick comparison between the S-Video and the analog input. Let me know if you can tell a difference. When I got the clear click, I knew I needed a way to mount this. And the problem is I didn't want to like Velcro or glue it to my camera because I want to keep this camera in good condition because they are worth money. So what I ended up doing is I got a super cheap camera cage. This thing was about $20 on Amazon and it's basically like a little U hook. I attached the camera at the bottom with a quarter 20 mount. It has a hot shoe on top. I got a hot shoe phone mount adapter and then I just put in the phone mount adapter and boom, I had the clear click mounted onto my camera. From there, I ran the power cable down. I used these really nifty Velcro ties to hold down the cables. I needed a power bank to run the clear click. So I ran the USB cable down here and I actually put my power bank right here in the, ha the hand camera strap. And it's just sitting in there and this is just a basic power bank. And then the actual camera runs off Sony MP. That's why I really like this camera because it runs off a of Sony MP and those batteries are super easy to get. I've owned other VHS cameras in the past and it's horrible trying to find batteries for them. That's one reason why I really like the Sony Handycam is because it runs off of Sony MP batteries. One thing I added is a, a wide angle lens adapter. I noticed this lens was really cropped in. I wanted something wider. I actually already had a lens adapter. So I just got a step up ring. It's a 37 to 52. So it's actually, I'll show the difference of with and without the adapter. And you can see it kind of gives that fisheye look similar to like something you see on one of those original skate videos where they'd use a lot of high eight cameras. 
So actually the music that I use on this video was brought to you by Epidemic Sound. They have some of the best music for content creation, hands down. I use them on all my projects, whether it's for Cinepax or just YouTube videos like this. You can actually download all the stems. So you can download the drum track, the melody, etc., and you can actually cut that out and edit the song how you want for your YouTube video. So I've actually personally been subscribed to pretty much every music site there is. By far, Epidemic Sounds has the best selection of music. So one way I like to use the site is I'll just come up here to browse. And I really do love the hip hop section. I feel like they have some really like modern type beats. Um, and they're pretty good for like promos, YouTube videos, anything like that. One way you can search is through newest popular or you can select some of these others. I'm going to go popular. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Yeah, so I've actually used that one on a Cinepax promo. If you guys know the one, let me know down below. But this one is super intense. And let's say since I've already used it, I can even click find similar here down at the bottom, which is super helpful. It will show me similar tracks in a similar genre. Maybe that's trap and it's also epic and heavy. Um, another cool thing that I like that I mentioned before is that I can just play the melody instruments, bass or drums. So if we just play drums or we could do bass. And why this is cool is because you can actually edit this. You'll have each separate wave file when you're editing. So you can actually edit this song to your clip. So if you want to cut out the bass at one part in your video, you can totally do that. If you guys want to check out Epidemic, I have a code down there below. It's going to give you 50% off your subscription. There's also a free trial. So make sure to check it out. You won't be disappointed. Epidemic Sounds did sponsor me, but when they reached out recently, I was actually already using Epidemic Sounds and it's worth checking out. Overall, I think this is worth the investment if you do shoot on high A or VHS or any type of analog format. I think it's worth it so you can just get it straight onto SD card and it'll kind of save you the headache if your tape ever breaks. I will say this isn't on the best. It's pretty wiggly. I wish it did have a quarter 20 mounting point in here. I would probably get a better phone mount than this. I kind of cheaped out on the phone mount. I'm going to link everything that I purchased to make this build down below. All the information uh, to the camera that I use to everything else. Overall, I think it's a pretty solid build. The camera cage is a little is a little cheap. It's a little wobbly, but it still definitely gets the job done. I think this has other uses as well. If you want to back up home videos, if you have old VHS tapes or any analog, if you have any VHS or old high eight home movies, you can totally use this to back that up for your family. I think that's another bonus to buying the clear click. Um, so I definitely probably will use it for that as well. That's pretty much it for today. That's my whole spiel on shooting on high eight. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Is high eight dead? Do you think this is worth it? Let me know. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepax. Let me know if you guys like this setup better. I moved a separate table. And I have my desk back there. I guess I could do like editing videos there and then like gear talking videos right here. I'm not sure. That's my that's my new wall setup. I'll go a little wider, check it out. It's wider. That's my room. I got the mic up there. I don't know. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinebacks. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.